Guten Tag everyone, it's your boy Bly here with Iron Cross Racing and I'm coming to you today with a product review. Uh, Viking Cycle reached out to me to do a review of their garter leather motorcycle vest and I told them I would uh, check out the product, uh, put it through its paces and give you guys an honest review of what I think about the product. The products come with a 30 day money back guarantee as well as a year warranty on craftsmanship. Now it doesn't cover normal wear and tear but it does cover um, any kind of major defects, etc., etc., for that year's time frame. It's a leather motorcycle vest. Retails for $59.99, so about $60. Uh, initial review, initial impression that I had pulling this out of the packaging was um, the leather quality is pretty decent. It's genuine leather. It's uh, what I would consider medium thickness. Uh, it's not super thin, but it's also not overly thick. Uh, it's got a decent liner on the inside. Now there's no ballistic protection, so uh, no back protector or anything, or any kind of place where you can insert a back protector. So this vest uh, primarily would see being used for a little bit of uh, wind protection when you're riding. Um, possibly you know a little bit of warmth uh, to increase warmth um, but also mostly just for uh, looking cool uh, putting patches on it uh, you know cuts things of that nature I could definitely see it's a good product for that um, as far as offering any kind of uh, abrasion resistance I'm sure it'd probably do a moderate job uh, if you went down uh, only on the spots you know parts that are actually covered by the leather obviously your arms are going to be screwed The front of it is button up. You can see here, buttoning it up. There's no zipper, but it is. Just seem to button up pretty nicely. As you can see the fit here, I'm about 5'10", 165 pounds. I got a large, so you can kind of see how it fits on me. Now I wore this with a flannel um, riding jacket. It's pretty much a flannel that has uh, padding in the shoulders and in the elbows. It fit pretty well over that, but if you had a leather, a thick leather jacket or a riding, uh, meshed riding jacket with any kind of armor, I could see needing to go a size up. Uh, this feels fits pretty good. You can see it doesn't bunch up too much on it. So now let's take a close look at the Viking Cycle Garter Leather Motorcycle Vest. Kind of showing you guys some pictures thus far of how it looks uh, wearing it. As you can see here, um, the stitching, they use a uh, double stitch on most of these seams. Uh, the quality looks actually relatively well. Um, I'm not seeing too much in regards to fraying or mistakes in regards to the, the construction, at least uh, um, out of the box, out of the, out of the packaging. As you can see here, it's a snap enclosure. So you can go ahead and uh, snap it up. Let's say the snaps work really well in regards to keeping it fastened. So one thing I noticed was the, these patch pockets that on the website it stated that these were snaps but this is actually velcro now so you'll notice that there's a little hole here um, in the top of the pocket and that's for fishing uh, headphone wires through that hole and it comes out the back side through this uh, rubber grommet hole right here and then you can fish it up through it's got a couple plastic clips and then it goes all the way up to your ears so that's kind of a nice feature. Now another thing I noticed too is that these pockets actually extend down way below the seam. So even though the seam looks like they're kind of relatively shallow, you could actually probably put a, you know, a cell phone in there, plug it into your headphones and you could have the fish up through there. So the other thing that was nice with these, these uh, large pockets, has nice hand pockets, they're easy to get in and out of. Construction seamed around it, looks seemed pretty well, uh, pretty well constructed. The other thing that they had was this elastic, um, little clasp for, for putting keys on, or a key. Uh, one thing I did notice though, I'll give you guys an up close uh, picture of that, is the metal was very flimsy. Like literally I could just, just bust that thing right in half. It also doesn't rotate on this, so. Yeah, probably what I would do is if I was gonna actually utilize that would to go to Lowe's or Home Depot and replace that with a better quality unit. Now on the inside, it has some 
The liner is actually pretty nice. You can kind of feel it's got a couple layers to it. This is a nylon. This is kind of a thicker um, nylon down below here that goes all along the outside edge. Once again, it's kind of double double seamed all the way through. Kind of makes it a little bit more long lasting. It's got these zipper pockets. They're kind of somewhat of a plastic liner on the inside. I don't know if that has any kind of any helps anything with waterproofing. Um, but the pockets are definitely big enough to put a cell phone or a, a wallet in there. Uh, they're a little too small if you're going to do concealed carry. So uh, if you, they're not necessarily what I would consider a gun pocket. I mean, you could put a small firearm in there, but retrieving it would be a pain, so it wouldn't really help you any. Uh, these, these pockets are on both sides, these large like kind of drop-in pockets. Now one thing you'll notice on, the, on this vest itself is that the pockets are going to be they actually put these little tabs on here to kind of show you what uh, they can, <laughs> what they would recommend you putting in these pockets. Now, one thing you'll notice is that these pockets, this is a cell phone pocket. That's as far as it goes in. This one here on the other side, I'll show you in just a second, this is considered what they consider their pin and our knife pocket. That one fits a little bit better, but this is only a, about a five inch uh, folding knife and it still sticks out pretty well. So I don't see these pockets and they're very, very high when you're wearing it. It's very, very high on the uh, vest itself. I can see them using it for something. Um, I'm just not sure what yet. Uh, they're kind of nice to be there, but primarily with, the, with these pockets they have down below, I wouldn't see needing to use those all that much. So once again, showing you this side, you got cell phone, knife and uh, pen holder, as well as the zipper pouch is what they're thinking you put your sunglasses in. So you can put your sunglasses there, you can put your sunglasses in here, it doesn't really matter. Once again now, <laughs> little teeny non-existent cell phone pocket, and then you kind of go in here to the uh, knife and pin holder pocket. Now as you can see here, this is a Galaxy 8, not the large one, not the Plus. There's no way that that cell phone is going to fit in there. but. Pop it in your pocket there, bloop, gone, good to go. So, as it states, it's genuine leather. I will be doing a long-term review on this because I am very, very curious on how this is gonna last. I've worn this uh, once, uh, probably about a 100 mile ride. I was kind of curious to see on the back, because I do have a backrest to see what it might have done to the actual leather itself. I don't really see too much in regards to cuts or abrasions. So you can see this back panel here. It's a nice, nice large size for putting a, putting a cut or putting any kind of patches that you may want. So that is an up close look at the, the Viking Cycle Garter leather motorcycle vest. And this is the uh, riding portion of my review of the Viking Cycle Garter leather motorcycle vest. So far I've already showed you a lot of the, uh, you know, as far as the aesthetics, the looks, the style, the design of the actual product itself. So this is a, uh, Kind of the riding portion you can see how it rides and fits on me as i'm on my bike and i think this does a, a fair job i mean it's full leather genuine leather so i think it does a fair job uh blocking the wind giving you a little bit of protection uh from the wind itself get a little ventilation from the armholes but it's not excessive uh, as i've already kind of stated i think this product is uh, more for aesthetics and looks than for any kind of uh protection in regards to a fall or a crash there's no back uh, inserts for body armor of any sort, any kind of back pad. But it's not necessarily what I think it's designed for. It's more designed for, uh, like I said, it's designed for looks, aesthetics. Uh, nice, fast, you can put all your patches on, wear it over uh, an existing uh, riding jacket. But uh, I don't think this jacket looks too bad. It's got a Mandarin collar on it. You can see up here, it doesn't bug my neck too much it's nice I kind of like the Mandarin collar collars a little bit better than some of the other collars that they have out there and riding vests um, this is kind of cut off it's a little bit more clean uh, initial impressions like I said are good so my final impressions of the uh, Viking garter leather motorcycle vest is uh, I would actually consider purchasing this um, if it was offered I will be doing some uh, long-term durability tests with this uh, product um, because I want to see kind of how it uh, holds up, especially over the next uh, few weeks and months. Uh, if there's any um, 
quality issues. Uh, I will do another video in regards to things that I've noticed over that period of time. Uh, that's the only thing I would question. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Again, this is uh, Bly with Don Cross Racing. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, go ahead and press that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell notification as I release a new video once a week. Again, I want to thank you guys for joining me. I'll talk to you all later. Peace.